the poem kahutak by kk and darwala is based on an ancient myth kahutak was a human being who accomplished great deeds and then was changed by the gods into a star or to be more precise into a comet or a shooting star as a shooting star it was possible for him to retain the dynamism which he possessed as a human being because a shooting star keeps rushing from one point in the sky to another leaving a fiery but fleeting trail behind it kohutak is the speaker of the poem and he describes his nature his disposition and his composition as a shooting star he says that he has come from the cave of red embers meaning glowing or red hot embers which are his abode he has a purple or crimson colored beard he has come from the cave where light boils like lava and where comets roam the comets roaming there seem to be a group of embryos who have violently been forced out of the wombs of their mothers and who are now searching for those mothers in other words the comets roaming there look like unborn offspring who have brutally been separated from the wombs of their mothers and who are therefore searching for those mothers the breasts of his mother says kotak or as rich as fire meaning that her breasts are fiery or glowing like fire from her nipples come sparks and his own tail has the power and the force of an electric storm he can be so dangerous that even heaven would suffer a heavy damage if it were to interfere with him and even angels would get burned if they were to meddle with his affairs kohutak goes on to say that he carries with him fire and frozen water hot passion and cold ice he is the lover with dust and ashes soiling his disordered hair he flies through the barren regions of space and he looks like an embodiment of thirst he cannot described in human terms he has traveled far beyond the domain of death hell is insignificant as compared to his power He has traveled over a million skies and he found each sky to be no more significant than an empty eye socket or an empty womb. He has been searching for the eyeball which was missing from the eye socket and he has been looking for a new god in each new sky. He flashes like a mad thought across the sky and he smolders as does a destructive resolve by a person to kill someone. Kohutak further says that this is the time when he can be made a scapegoat for the crimes which have been committed by others and the catastrophes which have been caused by others he can be held responsible for the next epidemic and the next war which break out in the world he can even be held responsible for the wanton murder of the saintly founder of a new and improved religion finally kohutak says that in view of his character and his activities he can be made the target of mud flinging as he flies across the sky in order to go back to his cave from which prophecies about the coming misfortunes are made and from where new comets originate